Today we're going to talk about SEO, but not the way you're used to. Typically when you make a new video, you're looking for a search engine optimization and those keywords are going to help your video get ranked. What about those old videos? Do you have any videos that you probably made when you first started? And maybe they're not too bad, but they're not ranking the way you want them to. What do we do with them? Sonny Lenardowski likes to say that they're sitting at the bottom of the ocean. And there are some that I have that are at the bottom of the ocean. And I actually go in and delete some of those because they're really not doing anything except taking up space. But I do have some videos that I made that are being watched. They're just not ranking because I didn't know what I know now that I didn't know then, right? And so that's what we're going to, I'm going to show you today in today's video. We're going to go take a feature from TubeBuddy and we're going to use it to revive or recycle and rank an old video. Before we dig into that, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I put out a new video every Tuesday and Friday teaching you how to turn your passion into profit. You're gonna start a YouTube channel and then start adding some income streams so you can be more profitable. And that's what my channel is all about. But you wanna be notified when they come out. So don't forget to hit that notification bell and you'll be sure to be one of the first to watch it. All right, before I go in and show you this video, I want to point a couple things out to you. We're usually when you look for keywords, if you're using vidIQ or TubeBuddy, you see that there's that little action score there. And this particular video has a 46. Now you're going to notice, I want to point this out now as you're watching, you're going to notice that as I go through the process of changing my keywords and getting my video to rank, that score went down a little bit. And what I want to point out to you is that, yes, you want that score to be 40 or more, but that's not the only thing that gets you to rank. And that's what I want to point out. I had this video that you're going to watch in a little bit here. It was not even ranking on the first three pages. I couldn't even find the page that it was on. And after I did what I'm going to show you, I got it to rank on page one. And that's what you want. You want to rank one of the first 10 videos so that when people search for your topic, they're going to hit that first page. You know as well as I know that when you Google something or you look in YouTube for something, you always look at that first page. Very rarely do people go to the second or third page looking for the answer to their question because they want it fast and you want to be right there on that first page. All right, let's. I want to show you how I'm going to change the score right here. Right now it's a 46.2. It's a bit SEO score, but I am using a TubeBuddy um, feature to change that. Um, but right here, some of these keywords I'm going to be changing and I'm going to be changing out my, eventually changing out my thumbnail as well. But right here in this part of the video, we're going to change the score and make it better, ha have better um, searchable keywords. And what we're going to use is SEO Studio from TubeBuddy. And my keyword here. My target keyword is increase your open rates. Email open rates. That's my keyword. So we're going to see how we're doing with that. I did change my title to match that. Um, it has a 60. Oh, it's still going. As you can see, it's going through my description. It's going through my title. How well did I target that keyword? Now I got a 95%. That's not bad. Over here, how to improve your score, it'll tell you exactly what you need to do. If I get anywhere from 90 to 100%, I pretty much leave it alone. But earlier, I did change my title. It said, um, increase your open rates. And I changed it to how to increase your email open rates. And then I put email marketing over here to the side. But notice when I put in my keyword, my searchable keyword, I said, increase your email open rate. So those are the words that are going to come up. Next, we have a 95%, so we're going to leave it alone. If you don't, you want to go in and fix it. Now here, my keywords, there's several in here that don't even have those uh, words in it. And that's what we want to do. We want to go in and change some of them. Um, I'm going to change I used to, as you can see this, I used to think putting other people's names in there, other larger channels. I was taught that by another channel to uh, put in bigger names and it will help you. But I, at this point, I don't do that. That's what I did way back in the beginning, but I don't tend to do that now. And I'm just going to take out some of these um, names and see if it helps my rate go up. 
And it says, include your exact target keyword as the first tag. And see, now I'm going to say, add that now. And it, they will put that right in there for me. And it went up to 100%. Now, again, I can take some of these words out and come up with some of my own. Let's look at them by prevalence as, as well. Now, another thing, you don't have to have 500 characters in your keywords. If you have keywords that are searchable, that relate to your topic, then that's what matters. Now, right here, it's, it shows you on the next page where you rate on the page. Um, this is mine at the top. That doesn't mean I'm at the top. This one, e email deliverability, four steps to increase your email open rate is first. And I'm going to see... Now on this particular one, I might want to go in and, and play more with my keywords because I am not rating on this first page. So I'm going to leave this now. I'm going to actually change my thumbnail and I'm going to go in and do a little bit of research and change some of my keywords and add some more. So now I'm going to go to next and then I'm going to apply everything that I just added in the video. For more searchable keywords you want to put in the your your keyword search how to increase your email open rate i did that and this is the page that came up now some of the things that i want to look at to add to my page are what are some of the keywords that are coming up that people are searching for and here they are some of the top ones top five increase email deliverability email deliverability email open rate email marketing and increase your email open rate so these are the top five and you can get more from there another thing that you can do is you can go into some of the other um, videos that are up here and see what keywords they use now one of the things i like to do when i'm looking for those like this one here is third in line ranked third but there's 110,000 subscribers and only 1,000 views so to me sure you're third but a lot of people aren't opening it this one the second one 8,000 people and the first one 15,000 people so I might want to open the first one it's getting more views but let's go down here a little bit more look at this uh, fifth one in line 69,000 subscribers but 172,000 views I want to use some of these keywords because in my mind um, this is the one that's getting most of the views for some reason so that's the one I want to look at now, again, you don't want to go in, I'm going to go ahead and click this. Um, you don't want to go in and use all of their keywords. You just want to use some of the keywords. So we're going to, we're going to open this one up. This particular video has a lot, is ranking in a lot of these keywords. So that's how you're going to find keywords to add to your video. And that's what I'm going to do right now. I made some changes like I told you I would. I just went ahead and did that off the screen. Um, let's go ahead and run the TubeBuddy um, SEO again. The SEO Studio. How to increase your email open yeah, rates. Okay, so we went in here, um, how to increase your email open rates, and it's at 95% like it was before. We'll leave that alone. And let's see what um, has changed here. Almost every email does have a tag word. It says include your exact tag word, so we're going to add that now. And it went over the limit. We're going to let it go back to the um, main screen and change it there. So let's see where we fall now. Okay, with those few changes that I made, I went back into YouTube and I typed in how to increase your email marketing rates. And if you scroll down, you'll see one, two, three, four. I am ninth on the front page. So I went from going to the ranking to the front page from wherever I was before then. So um, using SEO studio with TubeBuddy will help you recycle, upgrade your videos um, if, if you're not ranking where you want. This is something I just do when I might have 
a half hour or something, I just go back and start looking at different videos um, that are in playlists maybe, or, you know, just kind of look at some analytics and see, do I need to delete the video because it's absolutely dead or is it something I can change? Now, one more thing I'm going to change on this video, which I'm not going to show here, but I am going to change my, my thumbnail because I have changed my color. So anytime I do upgrade something, I do upgrade my description and I upgrade the thumbnail and try to use um, the blue and the whites that I've been using lately. So <clears throat> there you go. So hopefully you learned how to use TubeBuddy. I know a lot of people get tools and they don't know how to use them. So I'm, I want to help you learn how to use TubeBuddy effectively and really get some results with it. So there you go. Uh, put it down in the chat if you learned anything new today or if you have something to add, we'd be happy to hear it. I hope you have a great afternoon and I'll see you on the next video.